G'day, you've got Mark from Aussie Eds and Race Engines here again. Um, we're bucking around with this 253 Holden. Um, just in the final stages of all prepping. Um, it's been bored and decked, initially tanked. Um, what I'm going to do on this uh, video is uh, someone's actually commented in and asked about the lifter bores on these Holdens. Um, I'll put it up on another video. The Holdens have a bad reputation well they have a bad problem of wearing prematurely wearing the camshafts especially the back lobes here and just through years of um, mucking around with Holdens I've uh, sort of noticed that the lifter balls the holes the galleries that go through the main galleries they're all uneven and um, we can bring it up here so now they're the actual main feet, feet holes right for your lifters these ones look all pretty pretty cool eh? if we go around to this side and I'll probably just get up from here right and there's our holes there they're pretty similar right now as we get down here look at this very back one look at that half a gallery is actually closed off down here you can see my finger there but half the gallery is there so someone's actually asked how do we get in there and fix this problem? Well, it's steady handed. I'm not going to actually do it because um, it's a bit hard holding the camera in one hand and going off with a die grinder at uh, 20,000 revs in the other. But what I've done here, if you can see this die grinder, I've got a tiny little ball. Oh, I've just put an extension on it. And the way we get at them. Just don't go through the valley because you've got your ball and that in the way. Just get down here like that and from this angle you can get it get them like that and if you turn it around say if we're going to attack this one the small one right there he is there right we'll just get it down there I can't really hold the camera that's why I won't do it but you can steady it with two hands just get it in there that and all we're doing is just taking that side bit out and just opening the hole up so it gets volume of oil um, the only other things that wear camshafts prematurely is incorrect, uh, incorrect running procedure you should when you get an engine first start it up fire it up don't try and wind it over to get oil pressure uh, either bomb the engine or get oil pressure up by um, a primer um, these you have to bomb and also uh, you don't want to wind, keep winding it over it wipes the as you're winding it over trying to fire it it's actually getting all the assembly lube and all your molly grease off your cam and camshaft lobes it's just flicking it around so the quicker you can fire up an engine initially the better and you usually have them sitting around about 2,000 revs for 20 minutes um, and that's the way to run in a cam also uh, cams can go wear within minutes if they've got incorrect valve spring pressure so that's another thing um, valve spring tension but that's to do with camshafts um, profiles and everything so that's basically it on how to do these lifter bores sorry I can't really do it and actually show you you know while I'm going but I don't want to risk one handed but that's basically how we get in there just at that angle there just when uh, try and hold two hands on a grinder and steady it and just slow at a time and just you only have to take a bit out after you do that it's going to leave a bur uh, burr in it and just get a tiny little polishing wheel down there and just it doesn't pay to go through all your lifter bores just to clean up all surface rust and everything so that's all on uh, camshaft and lifter bores on the holdens i'll catch you later